All right, boys, resurrection for round three is here, and I am about. <laughs> what are these thumbnails? I can't, bro. Okay, all, all I saw was the Ichigo right here. I don't know if you. Oh no, you can't, you can't see it. You can't see it. Ah, there you go. All I saw was this Ichigo down here, and I'm like, I'm like, uh oh, uh oh. So I literally just moved it. Let's just get right into it. I want to see exactly what we're gonna be getting for these characters, and yeah. So boom, Ichigo. Guard break. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Speed droplet drop. Wait, what? Oh, what? Oh, that's weird. Okay, let's uh, let's quickly go over what these characters are getting, and then um, I guess we'll go from there. So Ichigo picks up uh, damage reduction, twelve percent. Okay, so he's picking that up as his soul trait. For his skills, it looks like his berserker is going up by like ten percent to forty percent. He's getting a bruiser of 30%. I don't believe he had that before. Let me actually pull up BBS Simulator and see if uh, if he actually already had these characters. Ichigo. Jesus, bro. He's old. Tech Shikai. Yeah, they already have the resurrections. Cool. Uh, so we're going to actually open up two of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the six star version. And I'm just going to go straight into the soul tree. And then here we just go straight into soul tree. And then we see what's up. All right, so let's uh, quickly go into this because this is going to be the OG, right? And then we're going to grab this. Boom. Nice. Oh, so he's picking up some good damage here. Okay, so his Berserker is going to stay the same at 40%. He's picking up the damage reduction 12%. Devastation 40% stays the same. Flurry stays the same. Sprinter plus one. Okay, so a lot of stuff staying the same. But what he is picking up is he's... Wait, hold up. He's picking up long reach? Oh, <gasps> On a range nat character, he's picking up long reach? Oh, that's pretty good! Speed Droplet Drop and Bruiser 30%. That's a lot of Bruiser 30% from Bruiser 20% is quite a bit of damage. No Guard Break here, which is kind of unfortunate, but Speed Droplet Drop 30% means that this character is a Droplet Drop unit. Now, my only real issue with here, honestly, if I have to complain, if I could complain, is one, it doesn't really address the issue that he has because he does have an Espada Killer, so giving him Guard Break would be kind of nice for regular PvE content. I was kind of hoping that he would pick up maybe some GQ skills since the spotter range of spotter week in particular can be a really, really, really annoying week to actually do guild quest. So damage reduction, bruiser 30%. You're picking up quite a bit of damage. The long reach is quite interesting. And then speed droplet drop 30%. I think this is probably the most out of like left field skill I've ever seen in my life. Because in my opinion, droplet drop percent is not really all that necessary and even though you want to farm droplets why are you not just using like i mean i, I get not everyone's gonna have like this the droplet drop characters but we have a lot of speed droplet drop characters at this point right like if i click here i think that kind of is also a droplet yeah that rose also has speed droplet drop Right, so if we go to speed droplet drop characters, keep in mind that the new tech rose is a droplet drop 30% link. So you'll see here that you even have the free to play Chad. So like there's no real use to go for that Ichigo. So I mean it's kind of unfortunate, but I mean it is what it is. I, I was really hoping that it would be good, but whatever. I mean it is what it is. Let's go to Thousand Year Blood War Rookie. I'm pretty excited for this one. <sighs> Damn, I'm so sad because I literally recorded, but I was recording like half the screen. Because for those that don't know, I um, I have like this. I don't actually play this game full screen. I play it like this. And then I just like zoom in for you guys whenever I make my videos and gameplays and stuff. But I ended up recording like this. <laughs> so it, it kind of cut out quite a bit of stuff. So let's just go over here. You guys are going to get the cliff note versions. I am quite excited for these resurrections. I don't think they're OP. But Rukia is picking up quite a bit of stuff. So let's uh, quickly go over here. We're going to grab this Rukia. This character is going to get a 10% to her Bruiser. So she's going to go up to 30%. Her Devastation is going to go up 10% as well. So she's going to pick up 50% Devastation total. Frenzy. She's picking up Havoc, which is actually a new skill for her, which is awesome. Long Reach 20% Sprinter plus 1. And she's also picking up Damage Inflicted at Full Stam for the Secondary Soul Trait. So another Strong Attack Damage 20%, Full Stam 16%. Uh, excuse me, another strong attack damage full stam link for the speed attribute. We have one with 
the Speed Halibel as well as, of course, Senkaizen. So that's going to be pretty interesting because you're going to be able to just straight up go for just raw nuking damage and that's going to be amazing on a character like Ulkiora where you're trying to just use your soul bomb and maybe three strong attacks total right next we do have the debilitator plus five seconds freeze immunity so i don't really think that this character is going to be doing too great in gq because i don't believe that she's going to be immune to whatever status element it might be freeze and I, I don't really remember i remember it being burned but i might also be only thinking about range or encore weak it is what it is and um yeah, overall, I do think that this is uh, this is pretty damn good uh, for her. Anyways, her first strong attack is a standard lunge. First strong attack, 570 um, like AOE around herself as she's lunging. Her second strong attack is going to be, she's going to be here, and she's going to deal a 750 AOE distant second strong attack, and then it's going to be a vacuum into an explosion. Explosion, da tabane, da tabane, right? And um, that's going to lock her into place. That's so going to be pretty bad for stuff like epic raids. But for everything else, it should be fine. And then her third strong attack, she just has a standard full screen 1200 radius AOE third strong attack, which is pretty good. I hope you guys like my stick figures. I've been mastering the craft of snipping tool and Microsoft Paint for a decade. Next, we do have Renji. And Renji is probably one of the characters that, in my opinion, people are going to be a lot more excited for. Just because this character was genuinely really good, if not OP, when he originally was, like, doing his thing. Now, this character has a lunge for strong attack, just like Rukia, and he's always had Havoc. So, he's always had 570 radius, so 570 radius, standard lunge. Second strong attack is actually going to be a 720 AoE distant second strong attack. Not as big as Rukia is, and definitely not the 960 AoE, but where that 720 is actually really good is that this AoE distance strong attack comes out with all of its damage as one. So even though it's smaller than Rukia's AoE, he's not locked into place for an extended period of time. And then his third strong attack is an AoE around himself. Very, very low radius. I think it's like something like 630. But when you fully charge it, it becomes something like 960 or 980, right? Uh, 690 will turn into 1080. So a little bit bigger than a normal full screen without Havoc. So 1080, pretty damn good radius. And you also effectively doubled the damage, which I think is really good. That's one of the reasons that this character is so good. He was one of the few characters with a nice charge third strong attack. And he also had strong attack recharge, which means you can pump out those strong attacks quite often. So this character, when it comes to his actual soul tree, is picking up quite a lot that, uh, in my opinion, is... Well, actually, he does not be even picking up quite a lot, but he's picking up some good stuff that'll help him out quite a lot. First and foremost, Sar, 12% link with damage inflicted at full stam, 16%. That's going to be really, really nice. He's also picking up Berserker, 20%, so a little bit more damage there. Bruiser uh, will go up by 10% to 30%. Devastation will go up by 10% to 50% follow-up mechanic i don't really think this is that great on sp based characters but mm, okay sure why not frenzy plus one he already had havoc he already had long reach and he already a sprinter overall i think that the resurrections this time around nothing really groundbreaking in my opinion i still think it's really really weird that this ichigo got droplet drop if they gave him guard break i genuinely think that that would have been kind of nice because then if you have this character max transcended like say you pulled him a long time ago then you can actually make use of like gen genuine use of this character but like speed droplet drop instead of like killer killer plus like 50 percent or something like that. like a gq skill i feel like this character would have genuinely been pretty good for something like range of spot a week even though his first strong attack is the 40 percent magnification for strong attack so you're gonna launch the enemies across the map but hey it's a range of spot a killer is a range of spot a killer and it, it's kind of unfortunate this character didn't uh pick up a little bit more he does have weakened defense so his normal attacks can deal more damage after you use your soul bomb so his soul bomb isn't completely useless but bruiser 50 percent along with flurry okay i think it's pretty cute but I'm going to leave it at that. Just grind on catch up. Hope you stay blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully this was informative and hopefully I kept it relatively brief. Y'all have a blessed day. I'll see y'all. Nice one. Peace.